Kelly Gingery, Flick Chick TV. I want to tell you something. Mad Mel Gibson is back on the silver screen and he is madder than ever. He is at the edge of darkness. Did you know that Mel Gibson has not been on the silver screen in almost eight years? What was the last movie you remember seeing him in? It was Signs. And that was a pretty good movie that did very well. But then he took some time off to direct Passion of the Christ and to direct Apocalypto and to go drinking in Malibu and drive. But anyways, he's had, you know, some stuff off camera and now he's back on the silver screen and he is doing what he does best. The movie is called Edge of Darkness. He plays a Boston police detective who has some terrible things happen to him, or really to his daughter, and he gets revenge. And we all know that's when he gets, gets the best. He's the best when he's Mad Mel, Mad Max. He's getting the people. Craving! Unanswered questions, but it appears Detective Thomas Craven was the intended target. This is someone armed and dangerous. What do you think I am? How's he dealing with it personally? <laughs> You're gonna follow me in the city of Boston. Welcome to hell. What's it feel like? We need to abort right now. Edge of Darkness was directed by Martin Campbell. Now, you may not know his name, but I know that you've seen some of his movies. Let me give you an example. Casino Royale, the first Bond with Daniel Craig, awesome. He also did a movie called Vertical Limit with Chris O'Donnell about he's going to save his uh, sister from a mountain climbing thing. And then he did The Mask of Zorro with Catherine Zeta-Jones and Antonio Banderas. Remember that one? So he has a certain genre that he's very good at, and in this flick, it definitely shows. Action-packed, great sequences, awesome. Another thing, while I was watching this movie, and kind of near the end, after the body count was rising and rising and rising, I thought, you know what this movie reminds me of? This movie reminds me of The Departed. Do you remember that flick with Jack Nicholson and Leonardo DiCaprio and Matt Damon, and it won Best Picture? I don't know, it was like five or six years ago. I can't quite remember. But I loved that movie, The Departed. Well, guess what? So I'm watching this, and near the end, I'm like, this is like The Departed. It's, it, it's, and, and at The Departed, if you saw that, at the end, you're like, Ugh. well, guess what? So I stay for the credits, because my flick chick research, I didn't really do it before I went to see the flick. It's written by the same guy. William Monaghan wrote Edge of Darkness and The Departed. Go figure. So, I mean, my spidey sense was working. I just didn't know it. Bottom line, I want to tell you, I liked this movie. I did. It gave me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies, I gotta tell you. But Mel Gibson is good. He really, really, he's back in the saddle. And he's great. He is. And so if you like Mel Gibson and you like this kind of flick, I really think you're going to like it. I recommend it. Just, like I said, be prepared. Hold on tight. Okay, I'm heading back to the theater. So this is Flick Chick TV. I'm Kelly Gingery. Stay tuned. Mel, I'm glad you're back. You're doing great. Keep doing this stuff. And uh, stay away from the, you know, <laughs>